hello, Chucking fans. It's Sunday night chucking. It's Sunday night chucking. It's time to chuck. You ready? Everybody ready? For Sunday night. It's hard to believe it's Sunday night already, isn't it? The weekend just whoosh, gone. Sayonara. See ya. Hey there, everybody. Welcome to Sunday Night Chuckin'. Welcome, welcome. There we go. I hope you all had a fantastic weekend. That you uh, did something fun, hopefully, and enjoyed yourself. Oops, I can hear myself talking. Okay, so we are going to do... Uh, okay, it's always, you know, true confessions when I push the live button. So... There is a transfer that is amazing. I mean, amazing. And I purposely have not, I, I've like not made it because it's one of those that I know that once I make it, I'm going to want to put it on everything. <laughs> that happens to me. I, I, I'm, you all know this, right? There are just these transfers that you see me use over and over again because I'm in love with them. And this is one of them. So I purposely not made this transfer, but I'm realizing that it's time to make this transfer because before we know it, it's going to be gone and oh, we need to make it. So it's time. I'm talking about the Halloween phrases transfer, not to keep you all in you know suspense, but the Halloween phrases transfer is this C size transfer that has six individual little transfers on it, plus some doohickeys. It's amazing, amazing, amazing. And I've avoided using it. <laughs> but it's time to talk. We really need to talk turkey here, people, or pumpkin, however you choose to look at it. It's really time to get our Halloween on. I know. It's August. It's really September. But it's time to get our Halloween on. And it's time for me to bite the bullet and use this transfer and just resist the urge. I, I can't do it. But I'm going to try. <laughs> I'm going to try to resist the urge. So I am making Maria. Welcome to Sunday Night Chalking, my chalking friends. Let's see who is all here this evening. Hello, Miss Cheryl. Hello, Carol. We were up by you again today, Carol. Oh, my gosh. You live in the most beautiful part of the world, I think, sometimes. Hello, Linda, Linda. Hello, Nevada, Nicole. Hello, Melissa from Canada. Canada, yay, Canada. Hello, welcome. All right, so if you're new to our little chocolate party, say hi. We're a friendly little group. Just join right in. You know, we'll take you. We're not that way. So I wanted to do a quick little, let's just kind of do a review so you can get your Halloween preparations ready. Now, there's a couple transfers I have on order that are not here yet. Um, the one that everybody loved, the last bundle we did which was the Happy Halloween with the pumpkin with all of the beautifulness. I have them on order. They're just not here because I believe Melissa. I have one of those. Melissa is the one I have. I'm, she's waiting on that transfer. So I do have some of them coming. They're just not here yet. They'll be here soon enough. But I want to make sure I give you a quick little preview. And then we're just going to do a quick little chalk-in of some beautifulness on these crazy Halloween phrases on the double-sided box frame, which again is a service that I have avoided using. <laughs> we can't keep it in stock, first off. And everybody's in love with it. And it's so cool. It's very similar to our previous box frame, only it's only five inches by five inches, so it's super affordable. Super, super affordable, super cute. You can chalk on both sides, and it's framed on both sides, which is the nice part about it now. The old one was only framed on one side. All right, I've got our Halloween transfers up here, so I can give you a quick little review if I don't happen to not have them or if I have forgotten some of them. All right, so I'm making Maria. We're going to use Chalk Couture. It's an amazing product. It's an adhesive silk screen transfer that makes clean, crisp, beautiful, beautiful results every single time. And it takes somebody like me who has zero, zero crafting ab or creative ability and makes me feel like I have some. <laughs> and it helps me create things because I'm really not talented in that department at all. I like to fake it really well, and this product helps me do that. If you have talent, you can make even better things, but you're stuck with me. So unless you watch other designers, this is what you get. So I wanna give you just a quick little review of 
some of the Halloween beautifulness that's out there. Okay, so we have this one, which is we haven't we haven't made these yet because truly I've been trying to not. When witches go riding and black cats are seen, the moon laughs and whispers, "Tis near Halloween." Love this transfer because there's a ton of detail on it. This is a picture of it completed so that you can see it. We are not making this one tonight. It's a C size. For those of you who are new, the letters mean something. A, B, C, D, and E. The size of the transfer, or the, the letter tells you two things. It tells you the size of the transfer and the cost of the transfer. All A size transfers are 5 by 7. All A size transfers are 9 dollars This transfer that I just showed you is a C size transfer. It's 12 by 18 is $24.99. So anything that is a C size is 12 by 18 and is $24. The one we're making tonight is Halloween phrases. I mean, just look at how stinking adorable they are. On a onesie for a baby. See, this is the problem. I can think of so many places to put these. It's a problem because I know as soon as we use this transfer, I'm going to be like plastering it like every, everywhere. So for those of you who re have been with me forever, my very first Halloween, there was this little tiny spider. Now he was smaller than this guy, but I put that spider on everything. <laughs> Absolutely everything I could find. That little spider went on. And look, hmm, there's another spider. It's a problem. It's an addiction. So that's the transfer we're using tonight. So this is one of the other ones. Eat, drink, and be scary, which a bunch of you bought that in the Make It Monday bundle we had it in. Beware, which is a very nice size, um, like door hanger or door porch sign, but it's not super big. So you can actually, this is like a nice size to lean on a mantle or do it uh, vertically. But that, I think the unknown piece that gets missed on this is this line that you can border with, with the cobwebs. This line has so many uses. So, so many uses. So, this is Beware. What else I got here? We've got our little Seasons Creeping. We have yet to make him. He's not my favorite of all of them, but he's super cool. And my Joseph is in love with him. We made our Pick Your Own Pumpkins. And then All Hallows Eve minis, which again, the Monster Mash guy, I just... I can think of so many things we can put these guys on. Okay, so this super fun little happy Halloween guy, that's the one I have on order. He's not here yet. This is what he looks like, one version of him completed. He's on his way. The October 31st, we've made this. We made this the other day with our fun little polka dots. Um, so we've made everything or shown, seen everything that's on that page. The other one that, again, I'm avoiding because I know myself, is the jack-o'-lantern with the pumpkins. Again, yeah. <laughs> People are using the cute little faces to make all kinds of cute little guys. Not just pumpkins, like mummy faces, scarecrows, like this little guy, this face right here, if you can see just this face, makes a really cute, I'm sure you're too close to focus. Hang on, let me try to get you focus. Makes a super cute scarecrow face. Just saying. So those are the very fun, what I would say, traditional Halloween transfers. So if you're looking to do some Halloween decorating, I have almost all of them because a lot of them are out of stock online. So if you want them, I have them. But tonight we are creating with the phrases. On, we're just, and we're doing a quick, this is a quick little project we're making tonight. We're using, look at how cute he is. This is the new baby surface. I mean, come on. Isn't he adorable? It's like just this little, like, yeah, you know? He's so cute. He's five by five. He is double sided with a frame. So he's truly double sided. He's, I mean, he's got a really nice weight to him and he's reasonable I think he's is he 10 bucks maybe he's I think he's 10 bucks 9.99 to be exact which they do 9.99 because it sounds more you know better than 10 bucks but reality you know I talk in reality yeah he's he's 9.99 he is sold out online but I have him 
I don't have a ton of them, but I have them. So if somebody wants them. Nevada Nicole wants to know how long of a board would you need for beware? So Nevada Nicole, you can put it on any size if you're gonna, depending on what you're gonna put it with. So the letters themselves are, are not ginormous. The letters I would tell you are two and a half, two and a half inches each. You want a little bit of a space between them. So I would think you could get away, you could probably get away with an 18 inch board unless you're gonna put, so you can, you can use these as some of the letters or you can put them around the board. Um, how did they do it in the catalog? Because I think in the catalog they tell you what size the board is as well. So let's get back to them. Beware. So on this, so this one in Nevada is on a 26 inch board. So it's 26 inches. You've got some nice spacing. So that kind of helps you get a kind of a general idea. So I would say you want at least 26. You could get away with 24 because there's some good spacing at the top. But if you're gonna do the cobwebs, you need 26 inches. I think that this is really nice space. So, and it's skinny, so, because these letters are not thick. They're, you know, generously, well, the W, let's go by the W. The W is, from tip to tip, about two and three quarters inch, so. You probably only need a three inch wide board. Super easy. Hello, Miss Terry from Texas. We need to ch chat, my dear. You should see my daughter's hair. Oh my goodness. Hey, Candy. Hey, Dawn. Hey, Cheryl. I bet I didn't say hi to you guys already. Welcome, welcome. All right, so the other thing I wanted to show you really quick because it arrived and tomorrow is the last day you can join if you have not currently joined. Many of you are currently in the club. Thank you for being my very wonderful Club Couture members. Club Couture is a subscription service where every month you get a beautiful transfer. It's $19.99 a month. Get this beautiful envelope. Yours is a little different than mine. Yours comes with three paste packets, and I have not looked to see what colors this one is coming with. But you get three paste packets, and those packets are never going to be white. So they really give you a fun opportunity to kind of play with different colors, play with the product for not a ton of money, and see how you love chalking because chalking is addictive. So this month's, so starting, this is September's Club Couture transfer. They've started sending it to us designers early so I can actually have it to show it to you. But it says fall blessings and the fall is very naturally distressed. It has some beautiful distressing to it and it has blessings, which is, you know, a super fun font. And then it's got some wheat. This is a very, very nice size. Like the pumpkin, which I wish was down here. The pumpkin we made the other night, in retrospect, I wish we had put this on that pumpkin. But I also think, this is, you know, that Target pumpkin. I think it'd be cute on this pumpkin too. And you could even put, you know, you could, you don't have to stack it like this. You can spell out the word too. So it's got some really nice uses, but this is September's club. And in order to get this transfer, you need to join before September 1st. So if you're not currently in the club and you want information about the club, you can comment club and I will send you the information in the link so that you can check it out. Um, after September, you can still join the club and get this transfer as long as supplies last, but then you pay for the shipping. So if you join now, because shipping is always free for Club Couture members, you don't have to pay for the shipping. So if you wait till after September 1st, you're gonna and, and you want this transfer, you will pay for the shipping of this transfer. If you join after September 1st, you don't have to get this transfer. Your club membership will start in October, on October 5th when we ship October's transfer. So that just gets a little confusing for people when we're at this like transition moment. Hello, Linda Squared. Hello, Miss Virginia. I know, Nicole, right? I mean, can can you not think of, I mean, fall blessings, you know how I always, I'm always, I always go to the, the flower sack towel, I know. But, you know, it's, it's nice to use your transfers to change up your flower sack towels in your kitchen, in your little papa kitchen decor, right? And, or in a basket, like let's say you're, you're doing a, a fall gift for someone, 
you know, if you did this on the fabric it, that you like a towel and you could put that in the basket kind of for your liner for your basket, that would be super cute too. So if you want information about the club, let me know. But tonight it's Halloween phrases. I'm even hesitant to open it up because <laughs> I'm so in love with them. I'm so in love with them. Oh my gosh. This is, you know, it's just going to be a thing. I'm just saying. It's just going to be a thing. They're so cool. I love the font. I love the, the playfulness of them. I just... And he is so cute. So... My, if I'm a guessing person, I would say, because we have a new 5x5 five five surface that come our Christmas celebration catalog, we're probably going to see something similar for Christmas, would be my guess. If I was a guessing person, that's what I would say. Because once they come out with a surface, then they have to make transfers that fit on it, right? Um... So what I'm doing right now is this is what an, a chalk couture adhesive silkscreen transfer looks like. I'm cutting it apart because it has these wonderful cut lines on it. It's like crafting for dummies for me because, you know, I, I, need, I need cut lines. <laughs> I do. I'm not ashamed to say it. I need cut lines or I would be a hot mess. I know. I'm a hot mess anyways. But I'd be even more of a hot mess if I didn't have cut lines. So what I want to do here is I want to do Hey Pumpkin. Oh, see, now it's this. I don't even know if I can decide which two I want to use. <laughs> that is the problem. I don't even know if I can decide. Hello, Laurie Carter. The, those wheat would go great with the acorns, right? Yes, I know. You can't go wrong, Laurie. Hey, Anne Marie. Welcome, welcome. Hello, Miss Tammy. Welcome, welcome. So these, I mean, they're just so darn cute. <laughs> I mean, come on. Happy haunting. Wouldn't that be fun for like trick-or-treat bags or boo? Or I'm... There's just not enough hours to create Halloween decor when you have an amazing transfer like this. So I'm cutting out all my pieces. I'm cutting them all out because I just know I'm going to use them all. Not tonight, though. So, I mean, come on. Eek in just black on this adorable little adorable little board. You just said hot mess a couple times. Does that mean you're going to use a little hot mess tonight? No, Melissa, I'm not using hot mess tonight. <laughs> I promise you I will do a hot mess soon-ish. I gotta look at the transfers we got coming up this week. Um, these guys are so fun and playful to me. They scream clean, crisp colors. And I just scream clean, crisp colors all the time anyway. But I think like a little green, a little orange, and maybe even a little yellow. We could do some shimmers. Um, th this just doesn't scream hot mess to me. I love the white side. This is nice, don't get me wrong. It's nice. But I prefer the white side. So on this side, because you can even do the candy corn in the three colors, right? Yellow, orange, and white. For the white, you would just, oh, if you were doing it on the white. So maybe that's what we do. We do trick or treat. Because then we can do white for our candy corn color. I need to get out yellow. So I would do bumblebee because it's kind of your traditional yellow. And then we need orange peel. I had pulled out papaya. And we need white. And then I'm going to use. I think I'm gonna use black. We could do sh we could do shadow, which is the black shimmer. Should we do that? Should we use no? Nah. Let's just use black. We just use black shimmer. I was totally kidding this time. Melissa said, "Sure you are, Melissa. I know how you roll. You want hot mess. You're a hot messer. <laughs> you like me. Um, see, it's." I mean, the eek with the black and the white, right? You can see this. I know you can, because I can see this. I really like Hey Pumpkin. And what's nice about these, I do have two places in my house where I can put something that's double-sided, and you'll see it from both sides. Um, so that's kind of nice. Now, you could save this, and you could do one side Halloween, one side 
general home decor or Thanksgiving or I'm assuming we're going to get one this Christmas. But we're going to do shimmer is always an option. <laughs> Nevada, Nevada, Nicole. You guys are so funny. You guys just cracked me up. I got to tell you. I, I, I do have to stop for just one moment and say how much I thoroughly enjoy hanging out with you guys. And I appreciate the fact that you come and hang out with me and talk to me and keep me sane. So thank you, thank you to all of you who come here. And if you're new, thank you for joining me. But come on and, and, and talk to us because we are a fun group of people. Like, look at just the pe I mean, come on. The this isn't even screaming Halloween. This is screaming everything. Oh, Melissa says, I love the eek. I know. I know, on the white side. I mean, you can just do it in black. Be done and quick and easy. I love them all. All right, we're going to do a trick or treat. I really wanted to do Hey Pumpkin, though. I'm trying not to use up all my little 5x5 five five frames because they're out of stock and I know you guys want them. <laughs> so I'm not using them. I, I really don't, um, I don't hold on to self-control, self-discipline very well. You know, I'm, I'm not a disciplined person. All of those squares are so cute, so many options, I know. Come on with the little eyelashes. All right, we're doing eek and trick or treat. I'm, 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 oh, it's so hard not to do hay pumpkin. It's so hard not to do hay pumpkin. But I, I'm, I'm being good. I could just go grab a towel and do it on a towel too. Yes, eek and black and white. All right, we're doing eek and black and white. So I flip over my transfer. I write eek on the back of it so that I know this is one of those transfers with our little spider. I'm even going to draw a little spider. Been one of those days. Um, this is one of those transfers where I talk about this is probably really important to put the name of the transfer on the back of the backer sheet because even though you think they're all exactly the same size, they're not. And when you go to cut them out and it's time to now put them back on their backer sheets, it really does solve the puzzle piecing when the name is on the back. So this is one of those definitely put the name on the back, don't just write back. It will make your life much easier when it's time to put them away. So um, you take your transfer, you put the name of the transfer on the back. You carefully remove your backer sheet. This is sticker paper, basically, um, because our transfer is sticky. There's a shiny side and a dull side. The shiny side is the side you're going to put your transfer back on when we're all done so that you can store it properly. So you set this aside. Don't throw this away. Don't crumple it up. Okay? So I'm going to take my transfer and I'm going to just put it right in my frame. I need to make sure I'm straight and lined up. Now, technically, I'm sure I'm supposed to wax the surface. I bet it even says it on the box. Does it say wax? It does say wax. I'm not waxing, though. I learned the very hard way they are not the same size, even though they look at Yes, Melissa, it is very true. They are not the same size, even though they look at So, Aunt Terry, I gotta tell you, so, for those of you who don't know, Terry is my sister-in-law, and she spoils my daughter absolutely positively rotten, which is awesome, because everybody needs that one aunt, right? Although my daughter has many. Um, everybody needs that aunt. So, Aunt Terry, for her birthday, sent her the most amazing curling iron. Because you know, we've already established, I can't do hair. I've had short hair pretty much my entire life. And um, my daughter, y'all, y'all lived through me when she burned her poor cheek with her curling iron uh, when COVID first started. So Aunt Terry sent her this beautiful curling iron. Well, she got her hair cut tonight. We're gonna use shadow. We're gonna use black for eek, and we're gonna do the spider in shadow. Um, my husband cuts my kids' hair, and he never, he does, he rarely. This is the second time he rarely cuts her hair, just because I. I She's a girl, so I think she should go get her hair cut. Boy's hair is so easy. You know, he just buzzes it and it's done. Well, he cut her hair today. And I mean, really, it's a straight line. <laughs> it's not her. And he did it. He always, he does a great job. So he did a great job. He cut her hair. And then after she was done, because we cut like three inches of her hair, I'm like, you know what? Go take a shower. Put the stuff in your hair. Let's practice. Because it's time for her to stop. She has stick straight hair. She has always wanted curly hair. Okay, so I'm going to do my shadow 
my, my spider in shadow, which is the black shimmer. I'm going to just use plain old black for the words. So while I'm talking, my squeegee has an angled side and a beveled or a flat side. The angled side is the front. I take my angled side. Oh, I'm freezing. Oh, I'm not. I'm not freezing on my end. Ooh, hey, Christina. Christina lost me too. Hmm. My side isn't freezing. My I'm not frozen. So I'm hoping you guys are still around because I'm not frozen. So I'm going to keep going because I'm not frozen. So I don't know if it's just some of you that are frozen. But I'm, so I'm going to keep going. So I'm going to take my angled squeegee. Okay. I'm not, I, I'm, I'm sorry for those of you who are freezing. I'm not freezing. And normally I freeze with you when you're, when we freeze. So I'm going to take my angle side. I'm going to dip it right in my, my chalkology paste. I'm going to go straight up and down. Okay. So he cuts her hair. We blow dry her hair. Oh, I'm sorry. So she, that's what I was saying. She braids her hair because it sticks straight. She braids it because she wants it to be curly and wavy. And in her mind, if she braids it, it's going to come up with these beautiful beach waves when she takes it out. And what it comes out with is, I mean, it's cute. It's that kind of crinkled hair look. But she loves it. So, you know, pick your battles, right? So she comes out with this. Um, now I'm going to take, I just wiped my, my squeegee off. Now I'm going to take the shimmer shadow. Um, oh, Melissa went out and came back in, and that fixed it for her. Good. Because, yeah, I'm not frozen on my end. Um. So now we're doing shadow for our cute little spider to give him a little sparkle. So anyway, so it, make a long story short, we curled her hair. <laughs> he, she got her hair cut, we curled her hair, and she looks 10 years older. Absolutely, positively 10 years older. Okay, so now I'm ready to just carefully remove my transfer. I pull it straight up and down slowly. Yeah, I think I, it's just some of you were frozen. Oh, Carol said I was frozen too. Yeah, mine mine never froze. I'm going to stick this in my water bath. I'm going to rinse that with cool water when I'm all done. Now I got chalk on the side of my frame. Now my cardinal rule is, right? Everybody knows my cardinal rule. Do not fix your mess ups until your chalk paste is dry. My chalk paste is not dry, and inevitably I'm going to smear it, and I'm going to be mad that I did that. So don't do what I'm doing. So I washed off the chalk paste that I got. Come on. Look at, I, I, this is what I want. Look, Mom. Look what I made. I'm 52 years old. Look, Mom. I made something cute. <laughs> it never gets old, people. I'm telling you. Never ever does this get old. So I'm drying it real quick because if I dry it, you'll be able to see the shimmer better. Shimmers are one of those things that you don't, you just don't see the shimmer until it's dry. And I really didn't like the black shimmer that much when we first got it, but it's really grown on me. It's, a, it's really kind of cool. You normally are freezing. <laughs> yes, Karen, I normally am freezing. I actually, I, I go, lately I'm all over the board. Okay. So now, oh gosh, he's so cute and shimmer. We're going to have to put this little guy everywhere. <laughs> Love the spider. Okay, so I don't know if you guys can see the shimmer. So I'll try to give you an angle, but uh, it's really hard to see the shimmer in the camera. Yeah, you're not getting any of it. Maybe look at the, on the little line guy, you see more of it. But look at how cute he is. Okay, baby onesie, right? Adorable. Trick-or-treat bag. Candle. Um flower sack towel, frames, a uh, pitcher with some fun floral coming out of it. And if you did a pitcher with some fun floral coming out of it, you can wash it off seasonally and change it. It's just, oh, and he's so cute in the shimmer. Ugh, good call, Melissa on the shimmer. All right. Oh, no, I did it. Oh, no, I did that. That's the right side. Whew. On the flip side, right, because this is our amazing double-sided, 
add some paste on the bottom. You know, I'm messy messy. So this is the white side on our back beautiful framed side. This is purposely made to be done on both sides. So I'm going to just, we're not using, are we, well, we'll use, we'll use black, so I'm not going to put that away yet, but I'm going to cover up my shimmer. So anyways, my, to make a very long story short, thank you, Aunt Terry, for the amazing, oh my gosh, that, I don't know what kind of fancy voodoo magic that that curling iron you sent had, but it was not a $9 curling iron, I'm sure, because it was very nice. Very, very nice. So I'm going to write trick or treat. So then I had to, we had to have the conversation of maybe it's time for us to grow up to actually like do our hair instead of braid our hair to get curls. Because <laughs> it's not curly when you braid your hair. It's just crinky, crimpled. Okay, so we're gonna do trick or treat next. Although we could, and we could do trick or treat, and we could do the white trick or treat in white instead of black. Or we could do it in the orange. Yeah, we could do that. Let's do it. We're gonna do trick or treat in colors. I'm gonna pop it in our cute little frame. Seal it up. So we have E. Now we're going to do some orange peel, which is your very traditional orange. Bumblebee, which is school bus yellow. And white. We'll do the trick or treat, and it's it's white, yellow, orange. So we'll do white, yike, white yellow, orange. We'll, we'll stay in line with what we normally, what a piece of candy corn would be. So I open up my chalk paste, I give them a quick stir. I want them to be a yogurt sour cream like consistency. I did get my fancy little doohickey that will help you stir your chalk paste. It's a paint stirrer. Um, these ones are not chunky, but this one is though. So to kind of give you an idea, this chalk paste, I always have it, you know, it's just lumpy. I don't want to end up with chalk paste everywhere, so I should probably move my project here. See, yeah, that's what happens when Maria. So you just, this is how you can stir, and look at how creamy it gets. It gets rid of all of the lumps and bumps, and it's like a, it's meant to paint stir, stir paint stir. It's meant to stir paint, but it does smooth out the, the lumps. I mean, I use this guy all the time with the lumps and bumps. It doesn't bother me. I'm holding it wrong. Just don't pick it up too high because then your chalk paste goes crazy. You know, it's like your blender, your immersion blender. You can use an immersion blender too. Oh, wow. Okay, this is addictive. I need to stop because I'll stir this paint all night long. Woo! Don't, <laughs> don't accidentally turn it on either. Okay, mom. Don't look, mom. <laughs> uh, yeah, I got chalk paste everywhere. It went flying. It's everywhere. Oh my gosh, I am a hot mess, Melissa. So Melissa, I got it on Amazon. It's called a paint stir. It's battery operated. You don't even have to plug it in. I mean, it's not the most powerful thing in the world, but it does work really well. So if you have paste that you haven't used in a long time and they're getting dry, you know, it does, it just helps you stir them, basically. I got chalk paste everywhere. Um, Tammy, I'm eating candy corn right now and I've been wanting some all day, so I got my husband to pick some up on the way home tonight. How oh, let me, I, I know candy corn is like the best candy ever, Tammy, like best candy ever. A mini boat motor, motor. yes, Lenora. It is a mini boat. Welcome from Nevada, my dear. All right, so I don't know how I got off on my tangent with my little stir stick guy, but so we've got our paste all. I do love Storm. And look at like so. Look at how much smoother it is, and I, I can do it for a little more. Nicole says I so need that no humidity here. Chalk dries out really bad. Yeah, it does. So 
um, if it's really dry, use your Immersion Blender. I mean, this guy is cute. I had originally bought a frother to try and do it. The frother is just, the stick on the frother is really flimsy. This guy is meant to stir paint. He's quiet, he's little. What he reminds me of is a, um, a malt machine. <laughs> you know the thing on a malt machine? I'm on a tangent again. Okay, so that's what he reminds me of. Um, but when I, you know, back when, when they had a paste issue, which has now been fixed, there is no more paste issue, but I still have some of those pastes because I was lazy and I didn't send it back. Um, or if you have paste that it's been a long time and you've never used them um, or haven't used them in a while, they, you know, they get dried out. They need help. An immersion blender very light work. The problem with immersion blender is it's messier because you just have to clean up, you know, that whole little cone thing. But I didn't find that to be a huge deal. It was quick and easy. And you can, because our, there's nothing toxic in the chalk paste, I just put it in my dishwasher and continued to use it for cooking. So you're not going to die. <laughs> At least nobody's died yet from my cooking. <laughs> it doesn't mean they won't. But so far, nobody's died. All right, so back to our, you know, the whole reason we're here. Whew. Karen is saying, have you ever mixed candy corn with peanuts, Tammy? Oh, it tastes like a payday candy bar. Yes. Oh my gosh, yes. You're all eating candy corn. It is one of my absolute all-time favorite candies. All-time favorite candies. All right, so back to chalking. Let's pull out our little multi-purpose tool so we can get our little... We're going to start with the candy corn guy. We're going to do orange, yellow, and white. And I'm going to start with my orange on the bottom. I dip my chalk paste, get it on my squeegee. And I just, I'm going to go straight across. Now, there's no way to know, right? Because there's no line. So you have to be super careful. So this is going to look like a candy corn, you know, where sometimes you got a little orange in your yellow, sometimes you get a little yellow in your orange. But just be careful when you put your lines together that you don't pick up the other color. Because if you pick up the other color, you'll carry it through. So I'm just being careful, especially now because I'm moving to white. Okay, make sure when you move to your white, especially you color or uh, wash off your stir stick. I'm just using your white, and if you pick up the yellow, wash it off so you don't continue to carry the yellow through. So we got that we got our little candy corn guy done I'm gonna pull the candy corn guy because first off I want to see how the colors look on the brown which they look awesome so we're gonna continue all right so now we're just gonna do white yellow orange but I'm gonna use the mini squeegee we're gonna, oh, sorry we're gonna do white for trick straight up and down Let's just scrape it across your silk screen so we've got our white. You could do some fun embellishments with this with some fun. Put your excess right back in your container. You could totally do some fun um, ribbon. You know, especially if you're only going to use one side. But it's a double-sided surface, so heck, right? Get the value for your money. Use both sides. Plus, then, if you're one, one day, you're in a trick-or-treat mood. The next day, you're in an eek mood. You know, like, maybe I should use the eek side for telling my kids, back off. <laughs> Stay away from the mama today. She's having one of those days. She hasn't had her coffee yet. Okay, so I'm just going across my trick-or-treat. Wiping off my squeegee. Much easier to clean your stuff up when your chalk paste is wet than when your chalk paste is dry. And now I carefully remove my transfer. Stick this in my water bath. I rinse it with cool water, let it dry, and then I stick it right back on my backer sheet. And now we have trick or treat. So we have trick or treat, which I'm gonna need to be careful because that's not dry yet. And we have trick or treat and ink. Everybody loves the candy corn with their peanuts. Mm hmm. Yeah. Stick with Karen, she knows all the cool stuff. So I'm all 
all done. That's all I got for you. Those are all the fun Halloween transfers. We need to get to Halloween creating. So for our Make It Monday bundle tomorrow, I will probably do something fun with all the Halloween stuff I have. So um, last week's Make It Monday bundle is in the Making Maria VIP group. And the bundles don't really go away until I'm out of supplies. So if you go back and you look at other Make It Monday bundles, you can always just search in the VIP group for Make It Monday bundles, and they'll come up. As long as I have the supplies, I'll still honor the price that's in the group. Um, it's just the key is, do I still have them? Because a lot of times the Make It Monday bundles sell out because I only have so many of them. I'm going to stick a little drink on here. That's what I like to do to my chalks before I store them, especially if it's like this orange peel color. I don't use it very often. Same thing with Bumblebee. Just to help them not dry out, I give them a layer of water on the top before I close them up. So last week's Make It Monday, Monday bundle was mystery surfaces. It was all kinds of fun different surfaces that um, you picked your price point and you got all kinds of amazing chalk couture surfaces. So um, that one's still out there. I still have a few of those left. Yes, I still have a few. Not many, but I have a few of those left. Um, if you're looking for, you know, gearing up for the holidays, it's time to get your surfaces together so you can start getting to the creative point. Plus, it's nice to have multiple surfaces on hand so that when you're ready to create, you can just, like this. You know, I could keep going all night with this adorable sign. Um, but I'm trying not to use up all these surfaces because I know you guys want these little guys. Um... It's very popular, this little 5x5 five five guy, because he's really affordable, he's double-sided, and, you know, he stands. I mean, how cute is that? A little white chalk paste on him, though. So, the Make It Monday bundle will be something with getting, you know, getting your Halloween going. So that's what I got for you tonight. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I'm Maggie Maria. I do do a live demo video every evening at 9 o'clock Central Standard Time, with the exception of Saturdays. So come on back. Oh, Nicole said, oh, that's right, you got, your, did you just get your bundle yesterday, Nicole? Nicole got the bundle. Um, some of them are retired surfaces, not all of them, though. Um, and they're just fun. And it's a good value, the bundle. If you're not in the VIP group, you can come and add me, and I'll get you in there, and then you can check out the bundles. Um, don't forget, Club Couture, today's, tomorrow is the last day, if you want September, oh, I can, I can actually show you the transfer. I don't really have to put that up anymore because I got it. This is the fun fall blessings, really nice size letters. Um, lots of fun things. Love the wheat, too. Lots of fun things we can do with the wheat. Melissa is saying, oh, wait. I told my husband the other night I need more distilled water, and he came back with so many cool surfaces. Okay, that's fun. Um, and impossible to get. Joanne, what's impossible to get? Oh, these? Joanne, I have them. If you want them, message me. Um, but yeah, I have... And there's a couple bundles in the VIP group that have these in them. I don't have a ton of them, but I do have some. So if you're looking, um, and you're not a designer, if you're looking for them, let me know. Because I have I ordered pre-ordered some for my customers, so I do have them. Thank you, Miss Tammy. You have a great night, too. Everybody have a fantastic Monday. Tomorrow's our last day of summer vacay. My kids go back to school on Tuesday, um, which is going to be very strange. Very strange, because I had kids home with me since March. It's going to be really quiet in my house Tuesday. My husband might have to take me out for lunch. <laughs> but that's all I got. Everybody, you have a great, great Monday, and I'll be back at you tomorrow. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. See you guys.